Hip and low back pain often stem from the fact that back and hips need to be able to move independently of each other. So one way to do that is to start to teach it how to move in different planes. So the first part of this is finding a position you're comfortable in, especially if your back is really not feeling good. So if that's better here or if it's better in this position, that's fine. Start with that. From there, we're just going to think about ever so slightly moving hips one way and then the other way, just back and forth. If that's bothersome, try a different movement. So try rotation back and forth. And you'll notice I'm moving my shoulders a little bit. We want to try and keep shoulders as quiet as possible. But you'll also notice it is a tiny rotation. All I'm doing is small movement here, small movement back. It doesn't have to be very big. And we always have to try and own the ranges we have first before we can increase the range. So we can go side to side. And we can go rotate as well. Give that a try.